Isaiah 57. When you cry out, let your rebel collection of idols deliver you. But the wind shall take them all. A breath shall carry them all away. But he who takes refuge in me shall possess the land, Judea, and shall inherit my holy mountain, Zion, also the heavenly inheritance and his spiritual Zion. And the word of one shall go forth, Cast up, cast up, prepare the way. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of the spiritual return of my people Israel. For thus says the high and lofty one, He who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place. But I dwell with him also, who is of a thoroughly penitent and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the thoroughly penitent, the one who is bruised with sorrow for sin. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be angry always. For if I did stay angry, the spirit of man would faint and be consumed before me, and my purpose in creating the souls of men would be frustrated. Because of the iniquity of Judah's covetousness and unjust gain, I was angry, and I smote him. I hid my face and was angry. And he went on sinning, turning away, and backsliding in the way of his own willful heart. I have seen his willful ways, but I will heal him. I will lead him also, and will recompense him, and restore comfort to him, and to those who mourn for him. Peace, peace to him who is far off, both Jew and Gentile, and to him who is near, says the Lord. I create the fruit of his lips, and I will heal him. I will make his lips blossom anew with speech in thankful praise. But the wicked, they are like the troubled sea, for it cannot rest, and its waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. Isaiah 62. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her righteousness and vindication go forth as brightness and her salvation radiates like a burning torch. And the nations shall see your righteousness and vindication. They shall see your rightness and justice, not your own righteousness and justice, but that which I have imparted to you and ascribed to you. And all kings shall behold your salvation and glory, and you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord God shall name. You shall also be so beautiful and prosperous as to be thought of as a crown of glory and honor in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem exceedingly beautiful in the hand of your God, O Israel. You, Judah, shall no more be termed forsaken, nor shall your land be called desolate any more, but you shall be called Hephzibah, my delight is in her, and your land shall be called Beulah, married. For the Lord delights in you, O Israel, and your land shall be married, O Israel. For as a young man marries a virgin, O Jerusalem, so shall your sons marry you, O Israel. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you, O Israel. I have set watchmen upon your walls, O Jerusalem, who will never hold their peace day or night. You who are his servants, and by your prayers, put the Lord in remembrance of his promises. Keep not silence. And give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes her a praise in the earth. 
The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm. Surely I will not again give your grain as food for your enemies, and the invading sons of aliens shall not drink your new wine for which you have toiled. But they who have gathered it shall eat it and praise the Lord. And they who have brought in the vintage, the wine, the grapes, shall drink it at the feast celebrated in the courts of my sanctuary, the temple of my holiness in Jerusalem. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare the way for the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stones. Lift up a standard. Lift up an ensign. Lift up a flag over the peoples and for the nations. Behold, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth. Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your salvation comes in the person of the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. Behold, his reward is with him and his work and recompense before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you, Jerusalem, Israel, shall be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. Robin Mark, Belfast, Revival in Belfast. I feel it in my spirit, feel it in my bones. He's gonna send revival, bring them all back home. Revive us, revive us, revive us with your fire. Revive us, revive us, revive us with your fire. Let your fire burn, Lord. Let your fire fall out of the heavenly realm. Let your fire fall in me. Let your fire fall in the earth. Let your fire fall in America. The fire of the resurrected body of Yeshua HaMashiach from heaven. Let your fire fall on us, Lord, and burn on the inside of us. I feel it in my spirit, feel it in my bones. He is sending revival, taking us all back home. Let your fire burn in me, Lord. Let your fire burn. Robo shika baranda kabo randa rala bo robo shika ndara la bo robo shika baranda rala bo rovasaya. Let your fire burn in my bones. Let your fire burn in my being. Let your fire burn that calls fire from the earth calling. For the fire to fall from heaven, come forth, Lord Yeshua, from inside your people, and let your fire burn from the earth, and suck down, call down your fire from heaven through your messianic people living in Israel. O Ramba Sakaboriara Laboshi Kabarandara Labasaya. Burning fire of the living God of fire. 
who is a consuming fire. Consume us in the fires of your love. Hashaka baranda rala boranda rala boshika baranda. O ramba sakamba rala rala boshike ai. Yo baranda rala boramba sika baranda rala boranda kabashaya. O raba sioko boranda rala boshika baranda. Raba rakashika boranda rala boria rala boko boria rala bashaka boria rala bahuya. Aranda hara 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 la 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 hara la la ha ha bar nanda ki ganga anda karamba ran kaboroko shika baranda la 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 bako riara la la basa kapaya or riara la bako shika barianda la la bako riara la bako revive us revive us revive us with your fire. I hear the voice of one crying. I hear the voice of one crying. Prepare Prepare ye the way of the Lord. I hear the voice of one crying. I hear the voice of one crying. Prepare ye. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. I hear it in my spirit. I feel it in my bones. Burning fire inside of me. To bring them all back home. I can hear that thunder in the distance. Like a train on the edge of the town. I can feel the brooding of the spirit. Lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. Revive us. Revive us. Revive us with your fire. Ida <laughs> Arianda da la borra la 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 boko sara la borra basaka haya. And the word of the one shall go forth. The voice crying, saying what? Cast up, cast up, prepare the way. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of the spiritual return of my people. And again, go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for my people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift 
up a standard or an ensign over the people for the nations. Behold, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your salvation comes in the person of your Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. He's got his reward with him and his work and his recompense is before him. And they shall call them the reborn Israel, the reborn New, New Jerusalem, the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you, Jerusalem, shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken, so the voice of one crying in the wilderness is crying out, Prepare the way for the people of Israel to return to Israel. And lift up a flag as they return. Lift it up over the nations for the nations to follow them from their foreign gods, from their rabble collection of idols, into Jerusalem, Israel, where God is raising up His firstborn Son through the Messianic believers in Yeshua HaMashiach in Israel right now, today, raising up His Son his firstborn nation, family, son, Israel, raising up his son in Israel right now. And he is calling out to all who are in the nations. He is saying the same thing that he said to Miriam's husband, Joseph. Will you help me raise my boy? Will you help me raise my son? Will you help me raise the daughter of Zion in Israel? Will you forsake your foreign religious gods? For I am building my kingdom around the king of Israel. In the messianic believers in Israel, I am building up my kingdom Will you forsake building your kingdoms of religion? And will you follow believing Jews back to Israel where I am building my kingdom around the king of Israel, the king of the Jews living in believers in Israel? I am raising up my son my firstborn son. I am raising up my daughters, my daughter of Zion. I am raising up my wife, Israel. I am regenerating a nation. I have brought bone upon bone. I have brought the bones together. I have laid the muscles on the bones. I have laid the tendons, the sinews on the bones. I have got a body, I have got a body, I have blown breath upon this nation of Israel, and I, they are arising out of the dry bone valley. They are breathing already, but they need to be sustained, they need to be grown, they need to be protected. They need to be supported. They need to be fed. I am raising up my firstborn, but not only my firstborn son. I am raising up my firstborn son to be sure through my first only begotten son who is living in the Jews who have been born again from the beginning, who have gone back to the beginning in Israel 
and who are yielding to the power of the kingdom of God. They have repented of their sins. They have believed over into my king and over into my kingdom. And they are living in my Messiah who is raising up the nation family of Israel. So I am not only resurrecting my first begotten son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, in the believers in Israel, but I am also, through my son Jesus Christ, my only begotten son, I am raising up my firstborn nation son, my firstborn family son. I am resurrecting the whole nation of Israel so that all Israel shall be saved. And through Israel, my family, my son, my daughter, my wife, my bride, I am shining the light from heaven through reborn, regenerated Israel out across all of the nations. And I am establishing in the darkness of all the nations, among all the rabble-rousing gods, among all the false religious gods, I am raising up a people in every nation, and I am creating in the fires of my love, I am creating a Goshen of protection. I am creating a safe place in the communities and in the cities and in the towns and in the nations across the globe, and they are all receiving the light that is coming out of Israel, reborn Israel, regenerated Israel, through the Messianic Jews who are confessing and living subject to the King, anointed King, the Messiah King of Israel, day to day, hour by hour, giving themselves, giving their life, stretching themselves from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to Beersheba, from north to south to east to west, stretching, reaching for all Israel to be saved and for the light to shine brighter through Israel out to the nations and draw the nations like a beacon, draw the nations, provide the stream of light, provide the rivers of living water to every nation, to every little Goshen connection of two or three in, every, in the villages and in the cities and the towns and the counties and the townships and the parishes and the governments of the nations creating a remnant in every nation like I created, says the Lord, a faithful remnant of believers in Israel and I am resurrecting every nation, I am resurrecting every culture, I am resurrecting every tongue, every language, in a remnant of believers who are confessing and living under me and under the dominion of my kingdom, whosoever will may come in, turn from your lifestyle of building your own religious kingdom apart and separate from my Israel. For if you are not building, conjoined one with my reborn Israel, you are not building my kingdom in the earth. You are building a religious kingdom. You are building your own kingdom. If you are building apart from a living, resurrected Israel, living, living, living in the Jews who have suffered, who have laid the foundation, the Jews, if you are not building, if you are not laboring in the kingdom that is associated with, whose foundation is Israel, you are building your own religious kingdom on the sands 
And when the storms of judgment come, for surely they are coming even now. As they come, the sins will be washed out from under you. For the only foundation that shall be standing shall be the foundation that has been laid through Israel and through the resurrected body of Israel, through the messianics of Israel, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers coming out of Israel for the word of the Lord to come out of Zion and the message, the teaching of God to come out of Jerusalem and go forth to deliver the nations. But I have reached out to the nations, the Lord says. I have reached out to the nations in order to use them to bless Israel. But instead of blessing Israel, you have believed me and tried to separate me from my people. You have tried to believe on me apart from my people Israel. And I will tell you clearly and plainly that I did not send my apostle Paul to the Gentile to build a separate religion, to build up a separate body through which you could exalt yourself against Israel and through which you have tried to replace Israel. My fire shall burn and burn down Babylon religion that you have built using my name, says the Lord. Therefore I have caused it to be written, and it shall stand, that those shall stand before me and say, Lord, have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not healed the sick? Have we not done powerful works and miracles in your name? And I will say to you, get out of my sight. I have never known you because you did not report to work for me building my kingdom around Israel and around the king of Israel, my son, who suffered for your sins and who gave his life to deliver you from hell, and you have taken away from him and away from my people Israel, and you have taken the power, and you have tried to build you a religious kingdom, and you have set up lurch perches all over the nations, and you have set up on your high perches, and you have lurched from one revival to another revival. And I have called you in every revival to come back to my people Israel and to give yourself for me to bring forth my nation Israel. And you have rebelled and you have said, No, we will build our own tower. We will, we will build our perches higher. And we will lurch from one to the other like drunken birds. And we will flutter and we will fly and we will pretend we are eagles of God. And we shall flop and we shall fail. Thus says the Lord God, the consuming fire God of Israel. I did not send the apostle Paul out to give you a chance to set up another whole religious structure? No! No, I hate that structure. I abhor your religious structure that you have interjected and inserted into my Israel-centered kingdom structure. My jealous rage shall burn against this religious structure. I don't care what you name it, says the Lord God. My only structure has Israel as a foundation. The names are Israelite names, Israeli names in the foundation blocks of my city. The names are Jewish names over the gates of my city. My new Jerusalem. 
the mother of all of you. Yes, you have a spiritual mother. My word tells you that Jerusalem above is the mother of us all. All who are of faith in Yeshua, Jesus, the Christ, the anointed, King of Israel. Your mother is New Jerusalem. And New Jerusalem is inextricably wound in together with all Jerusalem in Israel shall never be apart, shall never be separated in the mind of God. Israel has always been a nation in the mind of God. Israel has always been His nation in the mind of God. For God does not think generationally. He thinks spiritually. He thinks past, present, and future all at once. He said, my name is I am. I am. There have always been Jews in the land of Israel. Most were scattered. True, they were not a nation all in one place for a long time. But they were still a nation in the mind of God, in the plan of God. They have always been a nation. They will always be a nation. They're his nation family. They're his nation household. And if you want to know the fullness of God and enter a fullness of your destiny, you shall be, if you're not already, grafted into the olive tree of Israel. And you will be grafted in through a living part of Israel, a resurrected part of Israel called the Messianics. You will be grafted in through them into greater Israel. And you will be included in the household of God. The household of God is the Jewish household of God. It's the Israeli household of God. And you will be received into it through the Messiah of the household of God. And the house of prayer in the earth is not your religious houses of prayer that you have scattered over the globe to build your own kingdom, your national kingdom, your religious kingdom. The house of prayer of the Father of Jesus Christ is the house of Israel which shall welcome all nations, which shall call all nations. But you have sought to build your own houses of prayer apart from my nation, Israel. And it stinks, your houses of prayer stink in my nostrils, says the Lord God. For my house of prayer is in Israel. And I sent my apostle Paul to the nations to give you a chance to be grafted into the believing nation of Israel. To give you an opportunity. And I threw the door wide open and I said, Whoever, whosoever will may come. For I so loved the world that I gave my only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whoever would believe over into Him and put their lives over into Him and live His lifestyle by the power of my Spirit that I will supply. They shall be saved and shall not be lost and destroyed in hell. I gave my word. And now it is time in the nations for the believers in the nations to say, for we so love the Lord God of Israel that we give all that we have begotten over into the kingdom of God built around Israel, built upon a reborn Israel. We cast our 
lives and our lot, our families, our everything, our welfare, our livelihood, our lifestyle. We cast it all down before you, the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, King David, and one Jesus Christ born in Bethlehem. We put it all down, Lord God, for you. And we begin to say within our hearts, and we begin to change our song in America. We begin to turn from singing, God bless America. And we start singing, America, come bless the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel, Joseph, and the prophets, the apostles, and Yeshua, the Messiah. We bless your name, Lord. We cry out blessings unto you. And we sing, Holy, 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 Worthy, Worthy, Worthy is the Lamb of God. And we cry out to those around us, The voice that we hear, I hear the voice of one crying. Listen, listen right in here, on down about your belly. I hear the voice of one crying, prepare ye, prepare ye the way of the Lord. I hear the voice of one crying. I hear the voice of one crying. Prepare ye, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Make straight his path through the wilderness. Build him a highway. Build him a highway through the waste places. And let the light shine. Let the light shine through the darkness. And let your rain fall. Let your rain fall in the desert. And let your fire burn. Let your fire burn against your enemies. And the enemies of your people, Lord. Let your love fire burn. And empower your believers in Israel, Lord. Purify your remnant with your love fire, Lord. And let your fire burn all through the nations, Lord. Let your creative fire burn 
and create Goshen safe places, Lord, against the judgments that are coming, coming, coming at us, Lord. Establish your refuge in the nations, one with your remnant Israel, Lord, and build up your kingdom. We put our voices with the voices, with the one voice of your Son in Israel crying out. The voice of one crying. We'll put our voice with their cry. And we say, Blessed are you, Lord, coming in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you, Jesus, coming back in the name of the Lord to Jerusalem, Israel, to finish the work that you started in Israel. Let your fires burn. Let your love fire possess us, Lord. Revive us. Fan your fires, Lord. Let your fire burn. Revive us. Revive us. Revive us with your fire. I can hear that voice. I can hear it like thunder. I can hear that thunder in the distance. Like a train on the edge of the town. I can feel that brooding of the Spirit. Can you feel a brooding of the Spirit? Lay your burden down. Lay your burden down. I can hear that thunder in the distance like a train on the edge of the town. I can feel the brooding of the Spirit. Lay your burden down. Lay your burden down. Lay your religion down. Lay your religion down. Get off of your religious perch and lay your religion down. Revive us. Revive us. Revive us with your fire. Revive us. Revive us, revive us with your fire. Let your fire burn, Lord, for your kingdom to come now, for your will to be done now on this earth just like it is in heaven. Let it be done. I know you love this city and you love these streets. Talking about Jerusalem.
I feel it in my spirit, feel it in my bone. You're going to bring revival. You're going to send revival. <laughs> He's going to burn in revival and bring them all back home. Bringing all the Jews back home. A few of us Gentiles grafted in, adopted in, clinging to the believing Jews. Remnant of the, out of the nations coming right on into the kingdom, the Israel-centered kingdom, making one kingdom that we're baptized over into by the Spirit, bringing them all back home. Just as gold is precious, and honey is sweet. I know you love this city and you love these streets. Every child out playing by his own front door. Every baby laying on the bedroom floor. Every worker working on his dead end job. Every driver driving through the rush hour mob. I feel it burning in my spirit, burning in my bones. He's going to send revival. He is sending revival. He is sending revival. Bringing them all back home. Bringing us all back home to Jerusalem. For a thousand year run and a new heaven and a new earth. From the preacher preaching when the well is dry to the lost soul reaching for a higher high. From the young man dreaming on his, in his hopes and fears to the widow walking through the veil of tears. Every old, every young, every man and woman Every man and woman, every old and young. Every father's daughter, every mother's son. Feel it in my spirit, burning in my bones. He is fueling the fire, burning us all back home, burning us all into one body of love, fusing us all together through the Son, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, living, resurrected in His firstborn nation, family Son, calling heaven back down to earth, calling the first begotten biological son back down on earth to fuse and merge heaven and earth for a new heaven and a new earth. Reviving and regenerating the earth as he has individuals and persons. So shall he do with the nations through the reborn nation of Israel and through the remnants of believers, the Goshen places in all the nations. The fire melts us all together. Believers in the Son, the Son in the Father, the Father in the Son, the Father and the Son in believers and believers in the Father and the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, the new Jerusalem mother from above. That's what Isaiah was prophesying about.
That's what the Apostle Paul gave his life. Just using one example from the Old Covenant and one example from the New Covenant. But they all gave, them, gave themselves their lives for that. They all turned from their own kingdom-building desires to build our Father's kingdom through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the Son. And as we grow up through the Son, we grow up spiritually. He is the way. Yeshua is the way to the Father. He came to take us somewhere. Not to give us a stinking religion. <sighs> but to take us to his Father. And it's plain in the scriptures that in Messiah... There is not male and female. There is not Jew and Gentile. There is not bond or free. Messiah is not about the sexual, male or female. He is not about the social or the cultural or the racial like circumcised and uncircumcised, Jew and Gentile, bond of free. He's no respect of persons. Messiah is for every, from God's perspective, for everybody. Whoever will turn and believe their lives over into the kingdom of God and yield themselves to be translated out of the kingdom of darkness whole being, heart, mind, soul, body, bone, flesh, blood, over into, baptized by one spirit over into one kingdom, made one in Jesus Christ to grow up into our Father and our Father's family. And as we grow up, under the Holy Spirit, the males grow up into the image of the Father and the females grow up into the image of the Mother so as to hold the workings of the Father and to propagate, to carry, and birth out the Word of God from the Father. The family, God, father, mother, son, father, spirit, son, spirit, soul, body, personal, national, kingdom, all one. Read John 17. It's coming, and it's coming in love right in the middle of judgment, destruction, and fire. God's making it pretty plain. In this generation, plainer than ever before, books are published. If you, and even politicians running for the the office of president are declaring you mess with Israel and you mess with America. And if we can get enough in our nation declaring that, God will spare us and give us a little more time. You mess with Israel and you mess with America. You mess with the Messianics in Israel and you mess with God's people all over the world because we are standing one with reborn Israel through the Messianics reaching for all Israel to be saved according to the word of God.
but the cleansing judgment fire is coming. Listen to me. Listen to God. There has to come a cleansing judgment. Can't you tell by watching the news that some of these people will understand nothing, will accept nothing? They have become so hardened in their conscience that God has got to cleanse them out of the way for love to work. They've had their chance and they blew it. God knows when people have had their chance, when nations have had their chance. And he says, the nations that forget God, forget them. I throw them into hell. The people that forget God long enough till their consciences become that hard, he slings them into hell. Not that sweet little God meek and mild, that you've been taught in your religious lurch purchase. The cleansing destruction is coming. You gotta be in a safe place. You gotta be in a safe place or you'll find yourself in a group struggling to survive like William Forstchen F-O-R-S-T-C-H-E-N writes in his book, One Second After. I recommend it. It is very sobering. It is very realistic. Because the cleansing judgment is coming. Don't let anybody tell you they're going to pray it away. They're going to fast it away. We can by obedience, not by religious begging and the and the rattling around of many words, but by our lifestyle and our dedication to the people of God in Israel, God in mercy might give us a little more time. But don't count on it. Don't bank on it. When Satan jumps this time to wipe Israel off the map, it's look out Lottie. Here comes Jesus, because he's got enough messianics in Israel right now, calling out, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, that I think not Jesus has stood up on the throne. I think Papa has stood up on the throne, or at least he's got Michael watching and saying, Michael, if they draw back to strike, burn their arm off with my DNA, with my divine nuclear atomic energy. Burn their fist off. If they raise the other fist, burn it off. If they raise their haughty head, burn them head first down to the soles of their feet like I demonstrated through Elijah. When the government, the secular religious rebellious government sent after the man of God and said, the king says, come down now. He wants to talk to you. And the prophet simply answered, if I I am a man of God. Let fire come down from heaven and destroy you and your 50. And the word of God just simply states, and fire came down from heaven and destroyed him and his 50. And the king sent 50 more and the same thing happened. They were just dissolved. They just weren't there anymore. That's DNA energy. And Papa is ready to release it to defend Israel. If you don't believe it, read Zechariah chapters 12 through 14. 
if Satan rares back to strike, it's on. And you better get safe. You better get prepared spiritually, physically, financially, socially. <laughs> what did I leave out? Maybe T.D. Jakes had something years ago when he started saying, get ready, get ready, get ready. If I can borrow that from you, Bishop, I'm saying it with him. Get ready, get ready, get ready. And we're getting ready. Because Jesus is getting us ready for that great day. Jesus is getting us ready for that great day. Jesus is getting us ready for that great day. So we shall be able to stand. Shalom. Blessings. Live in the love fire. Let the wilderness of your life burn over ahead of time. And live in the safety of the love fire. of the God who so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. See you next time. Good Lord willing. And the creek don't rise.